Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is titled Spiritual Self-Diagnosis. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates? Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Oftentimes we are quick to talk about, evaluate, and even judge others. The one person we don't naturally want to critically examine and talk about is our own selves. But the Bible enjoins us to do just that. This is to make sure that we are in the faith. For instance, when is the last time you went through the points or tenets of the faith you answered, yes, I do, to before your baptism? Are you still faithful to your baptismal vows? Do you still believe in the three persons of the Godhead? Are you working out your own salvation with fear and trembling, believing that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are working for you to be saved? Do you still treat your body as a temple of the Holy Spirit? Do you still believe that Jesus and Him only is your mediator in the Holy of Holies in the heavenly sanctuary? Are you cooperating with the Holy Spirit to repent of all of your sins, all known sins, while Christ blots them out of the record of the books of heaven? To really examine yourself, you will have to read deeply and meditate on the Word of God every day. Without the Word of God, you will think you are all right. You will think that everything is just fine with you. That is how King Josiah and his people felt until they found out the forgotten book in the temple of the Lord. When they found out the book of the Lord in the temple of the Lord, the young king had the book read, and when he heard the things that were written in the book and saw how far they had wandered away from God's ideal and standard, he could not hold his tears. He tore his clothes in repentance and a genuine revival and reformation began. It is as you compare your life with the word, the written word, the Bible, as well as the living word, Jesus, that you will begin to know how you are doing spiritually. That is how you begin to know whether you are in the faith, whether Christ is in you, or whether you are a reprobate. For instance, when you read Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 to 26, prayerfully, you will begin to know whether the works of the flesh are in you or the fruit of the Spirit, which will ensure that you are a genuine Christian, characterize your life. Paul says that if we fail to examine our lives, we are in danger of becoming reprobates, that is, a people who are morally and spiritually bankrupt. It is my prayer that as you find time to read the Word of God every day, to meditate on the Word even today, and honestly apply the Word to your life, God will begin to show you the things that you need to know about yourself as you compare yourself with Jesus. He is the standard. If you do that, the Holy Spirit will begin to become your enabler, to help you to grow, to overcome, and to confess, and to have your sins blotted out. This is the moment of power. May your day be filled 
with meaning and power in Jesus' name. Amen.